Shalom. First off, I'd like to give in all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Secondly, I'd like to give a double honor to the elders and apostles of Green Millstone who rule well. And a Shalom to all you Akim out there pushing this truth sincerely. Alright, the name of this lesson is Work, a Blessing and a Curse. Right, now I'm just get right to it. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Right, and that's right, man. This life that we're living in right now, this isn't our rest. Right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You think that because you're not on a plantation and getting whipped, you know, that, that you're not under captivity. That you're not under slavery, man, but that's not the case. All right, you're still in captivity, man, because the scripture said that the only person that was going to redeem the Israelites is Yahweh Shai, man, who the world didn't really call Jesus Christ. All right? And that's for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called, which your true nationality, nationality is the Israelites. What your Israelites don't understand is that you're actually still on the captivity, man. All right? And work is a perfect example of that, man. Because at work, you see how... How much captivity you're really in, man. As a worker, as a so-called black man or as a so-called Latino, man, you, you see that the so-called white man wants to work you down, man. And the so-called white man really don't care about you, you know. The so-called white man could care less about you, man, because in, in the so-called white man's mind, man, you're always replaceable, man. You know, I remember this, um, you know, one of the orientations that I had to go to, man. They said that the company that I work for, the three most important things are customer service. The things that the company cares about most are customer service, um, equipment, and workers. Workers being the last thing, man. And the reason the guy said that the reason that workers are the last thing is because they're the most easily replaced. You know? And that's wicked, man. That's wicked, man, because... Your workers, really, they're the, they're the, they're the workhorse. You know, they're they're what keep your company going, man. You know, and that just shows you. That's a little snippet of how you know you're in captivity, man. So it says, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, man. So get up off your ass, man, and understand that this ain't your rest, man. All right, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the source destruction. All right, so this world that we're living in, man, even though you have to work. You know, even though you have to do everything, man, even though you might have a little house, you might have a little car, this shit will destroy you, man. And it is polluted, man. It's polluted with the ideologies of the so-called white man. And it's also polluted with with just vile spirits and, and vile chemicals and things in the air, man. Just polluted in every way, you know. But on the flip side... Work is also a blessing, man, because you get your money. And the scriptures say money is a defense, you know? You get your money, you know, you can do your little things, you can pay your bills, you keep a roof over your head, you can eat, you can handle your things day to day with money. But on the flip side, again, it's also a curse, man, because you, you work, you put in all these hours, man, and at the end, the so-called white man takes most of it for himself, man. You know? And that's what makes it horrible. So, Lock, you give me one second. I had another scripture here and it disappeared on me. Someone just get it. Alright, this is Proverbs 11. <clears throat> a false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Alright? So. This goes perfectly with the work, man, because there's a lot of jobs out there, man, that if you want to make money, if you want to make decent amount of money, you need to put in a bunch of work, man. All these nine to five people, a lot of them, I know a few nine to five people that actually work way more than nine to five, man. Their work comes home with them, man. In order for you to actually make a decent amount of money, man, you need a slave completely, man. And the reason that I, this, this scripture is very important for a man in the truth, because the struggle in the truth is balanced. 
And when you have a so-called good job or when you have any job, period, man, that balance is really is really what you're struggling to maintain, man. Because let's say you don't work a lot of overtime, but, you know, you have a very laborious job. Well, if you have a very laborious job, you need to, you need to rest. All right? So now you need to make time for rest, make time for to work, and make time to do the work, man. In the world, it's called a work-life balance. All right? And since this truth is our life, man... That balance needs to be on point, man, because, you know, it's a struggle, you know, because you, you never want to fall behind when it comes to the Lord, man, to doing the Lord's work. And if you do happen to fall behind, you know, I'm not going to lie. You know, I felt I've fallen behind just struggling to, you know, get things together. You know, when you do fall behind, you just got to try to do your best to come up and, you know, and, and break that cycle, man, you know. So that's why it says a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. So we're, 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 we're striving to be that just weight. All right. But this work, man, that, that that's again, the work is that curse at the same time. Because in reality, we're not supposed to be working, man. We're royal people. We're supposed to have people working for us, man. We're supposed to just be praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai the whole time we're here, man. All right. That's the real deal. That's how it's supposed to be, man. But unfortunately, it's not, man. Not in this world. You know? This is uh, Baruch chapter 3, and I'm going to go to verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us. All right? So the Lord said in Deuteronomy that he was going to scatter the, the Israelites. Throughout the all four corners of the earth, man. Alright? So it says, Behold, we are yet yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. Alright? So we are a reproach right now, man. We are a curse right now. You know? Our people are cursed all over the streets, man. I don't know if your brothers have seen it. Probably brothers have seen it. A crackhead was on fire. Man, it was, that was a so-called black man, man. You know, walking around on fire, man. Our people are, are reproached, man. They call us niggas. They call us spicks. All right? They call us everything in the world, man. All right? Our people are damaged, man. Our people are spiritually dead. Our people are killing each other. All right? So this is very true still, man. We are in this day yet in our captivity, man. We're still in our captivity. All right, and why? How do we know that we're still in our captivity? Because not only of the situations that our people are in, but because the Lord hasn't came back to save His elect, man, to save His people. That's the main way you know that we're not in our that we're not in that we're not in our prime yet. That we're still in captivity, man. All right, and then here's the part that applies the most to the, the lesson right now, the whole the whole scripture. But here's the point that I wanted to get to, and to be subject to payments. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord, our power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right. So it says subject to payments, man. And how do those payments come in, man? Those payments come in directly through the so-called white man taking his taxes. All right. What are some what are some of the, some other payments that we take? All right. Seeing our children in the condition that we're there in. Seeing our people in the condition that we're in. Those are some of the payments that we're subject to, man. All right? And it says, according to the iniquities of our fathers, man. Because we are our forefathers, man. So, so according to the iniquities that we committed in our past lives, man, that's what we're paying for now. All right? That's why you have to work. That's why the so-called white man has his foot on our neck right now. All right? And it says, which departed from the Lord our power, all right? Because we went off, man. Our forefathers, which is us, we went off, we departed, we departed from the ways of the Lord, man. We departed from the ways of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right? And the way that we paid for it, or the way that we're paying for it now, is in captivity, man. Being under the so called white man. All right? But it doesn't matter, man. No matter if you have a good job or not, man. You know, whether you're just getting by or you have a good job and you're doing a so-called good job and you're doing decently for yourself, man. You need to remember this one thing, man. This is Matthew 6 and 19. 
Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. All right, so don't focus about getting all these treasures in, in the flesh, man. All right, because this place is going to go, man. And when it goes, everything you have, all your vain goods, all your, all your physical things, they're going to be gone with it, man. All right. Now, what does it say? Verse 20. But lay up yourself treasures in heaven. All right. And what are those treasures in heaven, man? But well, what I'm doing right now. All right. Putting in the work for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Putting in that work so that, you know, when when the Lord comes back and he asks me what I, ha what I have done, you know, I have something to show for my works, man. All right. We're not, we're not being idle, man. We're working our best. We're working to the best of our abilities right now, man. You know, and these are going to be the treasures in heaven. This is the work that actually matters, man. The work that we do in the world, whether you're a carpenter or, you know, you work at an office, whatever you're doing, man, that work is for, that's temporary work, man. That's temporary for, to survive for now. All right? But the spiritual work, doing these videos, going out there and praising Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, preaching His word, you know, praying, fasting for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, those are those treasures that are going to, now, that's that long-term investment that we're doing right now, man. All right? Where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and nor steal. All right? So, the so-called white man can take our job from us, man. But they can never take our spirit, man. They can't take our, our they can't take this word away from us, man. They can't take away the truth from us, man. And that's what we got to worry about, man. That's what we... That's what we got to focus on, you know? The so-called white man, this work, the so-called white man can't stop this work. All right? So, you know, I'm going to read it one more time. It says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. All right? And it says, for where your treasure is, there will be your heart also. All right? So, where... Where where the where your treasure is, man, where where the Lord really where where you really cherish, what you really care about, that's where your heart is gonna be, that's where your mind is gonna be. Alright, heart meaning the Hebrew word which means mind, meaning the Hebrew word lab. Alright, which means mind. Alright, because you don't think with your heart. Your heart just pumps blood, man. You think with your mind. Alright, so it says there will your heart be also. Alright? So if you that type of guy who is just thinking about work, 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 making this money, getting this stuff, work, 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 making this money, making this stuff, like the gentleman that I work with who works 16 hours, six days a week, you know, then then that's someone who's, we know where his, where his heart is, man. His heart is at work. His heart is getting fleshly goods. His heart is in laying up treasures in this world, man. But what little does he know is that this world is going to be destroyed, man. All right? That's why we don't lay up our, tre our treasures in the world, man. Because we have an understanding that the world is going to be destroyed, man. So there's no point. All right? So that was a quick little lesson on work, man, and how it's a blessing and a curse. All right? I hope you brothers were edified, whoever was watching, man. And until next time, Shalom.